Morning, everybody. It's 841, and this is your pre-opening comment, video number 1750. So, Grandma Yellen just will not shut up. It just shows you how political they have made the Secretary of the Treasury position. Um, she's, again, yammering to anybody who will listen, in this case, the G7 conference, um, about how terrible it would be if we didn't get a raise in the debt ceiling. You know, get a new line or at least alter this one. And by the way, this is the same woman who told us that the regional bank issue was a non-issue. And yet today, it's clearly an issue again with PacWest trading at $4.63, down another 29%, and Western Alliance down another 10%, and the rest of the group following. So there you go. Thanks, Grandma. Um, we had two big numbers, and really neither of them did very much. The PPI came in, as expected, uh, up 0.2 versus up 0.3. Uh, core, up 0.2 versus expectations of up 0.2. Um, X food and energy was a little bit better. The year-over-year -year number was 2.3 versus 2.7. So that is quite an improvement. And X food, energy, and trade, 3.4 versus 3.7. But I'll make this point again. That 3.4 that 3 versus 3.7 is a revised number. Somehow... 2.6 that was reported last month got bumped up to 3.7. You cannot trade <clears throat> exclusively on these numbers because they're just too dynamic. They change all the time. Claims, 264,000 versus 245,000 on initial claims. So that's actually, from the Fed's point of view, a good thing. Weakness, some softness in the labor market causing more initial claims. Continuing claims, though, were down. 1.183, million versus 1,820,000. But, oh, by the way, that last number last month was revised from 1,801,000 to 1,820,000. Enough of that. Uh, as far as what the market thinks, the market doesn't really care. Um, early this morning, we were down 110. <clears throat> A little bit before that uh, number came out, we were down 40 in the Dow. Currently, we're down... 103. Um, the, the big cap NASDAQ stocks went from unchanged to up 37, and they are currently up 32. S&P minus six, up two, last down two and a half. So nothing overwhelming. Okay, uh, SoftBank losing $7.2 billion in the quarter. The stock is unchanged. PacWest, which I mentioned, four sixty three down a dollar forty five and Western Alliance both lower. Disney on the decline of uh, four million subscribers is down about five and a quarter. Um, but also they were talking about Hulu and what they're gonna include in Disney Plus from Hulu makes me think that at some point in time in the near future we're gonna hear uh, that they're going to take Hulu under the Disney umbrella. Um, Robinhood, 
uh, did a little bit better. Last night it was unimpressed, uh, up a couple of pennies. Right now, 940, up 33 cents. So that's an improvement. Sonos. Sonos is a really great product, um, but the report was less than terrific. Uh, the stock had closed 21.15, down 63 cents. It traded all the way down to 15.32. Last is 16.30, down 4.85 or 23%. But I will mention to you, remind you, that exactly three months ago at the last quarterly earnings, this is exactly the opposite of what it did. Last earnings, it was up 24%. This earnings, it's down 23%. So that's a tough thing to trade. Um, and people relate to it because it's really becoming ubiquitous about, you know, in um, Airbnb and other rentals. So um, Google gave a really positive AI presentation at the I.O. conference yesterday. Uh, the stock this morning is up 229 at 114.04. And yesterday it was also up up four. So pretty nice moving there. Um, that's about it, folks. The chart on the screen is uh, the gold. <clears throat> and th this is kind of an interesting situation in two ways. Number one, inflation relatively lower and interest rates lower. Gold went from down on the morning to up on the morning. So when inflation is still around, I mentioned this yesterday, when inflation is still around, but interest rates are not being pumped up to fight it, gold acts favorably. What's a little bit disturbing and confusing to me is that while gold is up $5, a quarter of a percent, I mean, it's not a major move, at the same time, silver is down 50 cents. And that makes very little sense right into support again. I would consider buying this here. Um, right into support here. And um, my guess is it's because it's the economy slowing and the fact that silver is much more of an industrial use than gold is. Okay, uh, back to the um, market. Dow currently down 115. S&P down about four. And uh, the NASDAQ is still up 30. Have a good morning.